Let's reach okay. the other room. Okay. During their retirement, Jane and Pete had planned to go travelling around Europe. Okay. But a stroke three years ago forced their world to shrink. Now Pete needs visits from carers three times a day to help him wash, dress and use the bathroom. When he first came home, he, um, he had to have two carers, one at the front and one at the back. But sometimes the carers don't turn up at all. Nobody had been to take him to the toilet, so I just came home because he was dying to go to the loo. I mean, it must be degrading for him as well. He must feel insecure, totally insecure and vulnerable. And he's not alone. An investigation by ITV News has found 88% of councils in England that responded did not deliver all of the social care they'd promised. During a single week last year, almost 16,000 hours commissioned by local authorities were not delivered. Oxfordshire Council didn't deliver more than 1,500 hours. That's 7% of the care they'd promised. Sometimes the care receiver might refuse a visit, but often it's down to care agency delays, staff shortages or sickness. And the pressure on families takes its toll. So how are you? How, how are you feeling? Me? Um... <laughs> I don't think I let myself think about myself too much because I think... Um... I've got to live in the moment. I mean, sometimes when I look to the future, I feel scared. <sighs> what if I can't do what I need to do? And there are many with similar fears. Right here in Jane's hometown of Grimsby. So we brought a group together to share their experiences. You have to fight all of the time to get what it is you want. You do. The extras. You don't want to see your mother soiled. The families pick up the slack all the time. We will continue to provide the care. We cannot trust the care system. North East Lincolnshire Council says it's working hard to improve care here, but local authorities right across the UK are struggling with budget cuts. Jane doesn't want much from the government. Just care a bit more. See us as people and not as numbers. The Department of Health says people like Pete must get prompt, dignified care and insists the government's trying to find a sustainable solution. Rebecca Barry, News at 10.